There is concern that Christmas travel and gatherings will lead to a further surge in the new year. But the more pressing crisis is the growing pressure on hospitals and for care for increasing flood of patients needing emergency and intensive care. NBC4's Patrick Healy has more. Every day, 750 more COVID patients arriving at hospitals across L.A. County. Ambulances waiting to offload. The squeeze on resources becoming ever more critical. On Christmas Eve, the situation is dire. I see us almost already at the point where we're going to have to ration care. As medical director for the L.A. City Fire Department and an emergency room physician at County USC, MD Mark Eckstein sees a new level of triage becoming necessary. The level of care will be determined based upon severity of symptoms and also people's likelihood of survival. Um, we are cons very close to uh, implementing a policy in Los Angeles County that imp was implemented in New York City. Early spring in New York, a surge of catastrophic proportions, overwhelming hospitals, claiming as many as a thousand lives a day. How close are we getting to the conditions you saw in New York? I'm certainly worried we're going to get there. I mean, there's no doubt about it. MD Oren Friedman was there responding to New York's urgent need for help. The pulmonary critical care specialist now back in Los Angeles at Cedars Sinai Medical Center. The real catastrophe that happened in New York is that it hit so hard, so fast, and so early on. Dr. Friedman said we do have advantages of more preparation time, more experience treating COVID, but there is no minimizing the strain this ongoing surge puts on medical personnel. There's a real concern that people are getting so exhausted. Are we going to be able to keep up the steam as the numbers continue to increase? And I you know, there's no real wonderful answer to that. It's just, it's a real problem. As a major tertiary medical center, Cedars has been able to flex capacity to keep up with the surge. But in many other hospitals, beds line hallways. Some patients remain in tents. And LA Fire is planning to assign firefighters where needed to watch new arrivals until hospital staff can see them. Make no mistake, we're in a very precarious situation now here on Christmas Eve. I think the next 30 days, uh, I think, is going to exact a, a human toll that's really unimaginable in Los Angeles. You see how millions of Americans are flying, and every time one of us sees that on the news, uh, we just cringe. You know, we just say, please, please stop. Please make it stop. You know, we're, we're kind of already feeling like we're at a breaking point, and, uh, you know, it's so discouraging to see that. So I mentioned that uh, Dr. Friedman himself came down with COVID, now virus-free, but he says he's still not 100%. And moments after we completed our interview, he was back on the floor in intensive care. And Dr. Eckstein, his mark spelled with a C, uh, he's going to be spending his Christmas uh, in the emergency room at uh, L.A. County, USC, working a double shift. Their only ask that people help try to slow the virus's spread by simply not mixing during the holidays. Reporting live, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News. Kathy and